You should recognize that while Cnidarians are radially symmetrical, all of the Bilaterians are bilaterally symmetrical. Now this was significant because once an N was chosen to be the front, this is where sensory structures and uh, nervous tissue to analyze senses accumulated, so this was the origin of both the head and the brain. You should be able to describe a flatworm's digestive system. Um, the mouth is located in the center of the body and it's incomplete. The same opening serves as the anus. Since there are no blood vessels, the intestines are branched because they take on the role of distributing materials throughout uh, the body. We talked about so many uh, different invertebrates, um, and so you should be able to match some of them to their features. So in one set of uh, questions, I'll give you flukes, tapeworms, rotifers, and nematodes. So you should be able to identify that you know, flukes uh, are parasites which often go through larval stages involving intermediate hosts, such as snails. Tapeworms are uh, intestinal parasites uh, which have a series of hermaphroditic segments known as proglottids. Rotifers are microscopic filter feeders. Nematodes uh, are extremely important. You should be able to match them to their features, such as they are one of the most abundant groups of organisms on the planet. They're unsegmented, unlike, say, annelids. They have a complete uh, digestive system. Uh, they don't possess gills. They, br uh, they breathe through uh, their uh, cuticles. Um, and they can vary from microscopic uh, soil predators uh, to intestinal uh, parasites. Um, you should know a number of the definitions which uh, we use, such as coelom. This is a body cavity in which organs can be suspended. The idea of a complete gut, uh, which has two openings, both a mouth and an anus. Um, recognize that uh, the major features which distinguish protostomes and deuterostomes are those of embryos, such as which embryonic opening becomes the mouth. You should be able to match other invertebrates to their features. Uh, so I give you a question uh, which involves uh, you know, uh, spiders, gastropods, cephalopods, insects, and bivalves. Um, and so uh, bivalves uh, they possess two halves of their shell, while gastropods possess a single shell, often coiled. Uh, the cephalopods are, you know, the squid and octopi. Uh, they're large. Their foot is divided into form tentacles. They have large eyes. Uh, the uh, arachnids lack antennae. They possess uh, specialized mouth parts known as chelicera. Um, the insects uh, typically have uh, wings. Uh, and six legs attached to their thorax, etc. Um, you should be able to explain how uh, water flows through a bivalve and its importance. So as water comes in through the inhale and siphon, goes through the body and leaves through the exhale and siphon. This is not only important because it allows oxygen to flow over the gills so that they can breathe, Food particles are trapped in mucus and swept towards uh, the mouth. This allows uh, bivalves to feed. And as water leaves, it can also then carry uh, wastes and um, gametes uh, with it. And so this flow of water is extremely important for a number of uh, systems. Uh, a number of the invertebrates are parasites, although some are ectoparasites attaching to the outside. Uh, this would include, say, uh, leeches and ticks, while others are endoparasites living inside an organism. This would include, say, flukes, tapeworms, and many nematode worms. Now, of the invertebrates, some are more closely related to vertebrates than they are to the, the other pro to protostomes, such as arthropods and mollusks. This would include, say, echinoderms and the primitive chordates. They are considered deuterostomes, closely allied to the vertebrates. Um, they are classified as such because all chordates share features. And so, for example, all chordates share a notochord, a hollow dorsal nerve cord, a pharynx with slits, um, a postanal tail, and other things such as uh, a liver or the homologue of a thyroid gland and others. Um, even if humans don't have these features as adults, they do possess them as embryos. 